Welcome to today's 3D print. This is an episode for Monday, just after Murph, since I'll be busy uh, pre-recording this so that you guys can have something to watch. Um, be sure to keep tuned for my Murph videos. I might have some live content you may have already seen, but I will try to do what I can to put together some videos while I'm at Murph. Today, though, we are going to talk about useful prints, tools, things that are usable. Uh, you guys really liked the last video I did on that end. I liked it too. So we're going to do some of that. Stay tuned. Okay, so first up is something called the Honeycomb Desk Organizer. It is by Stuff Person on Thingiverse. It is 197871. I will have a link down below for it. And it is this. I printed this on the TiVo Tornado in Zyro's transparent blue, and I love this thing. I just keep this sitting on my desk right behind me, and all the little tools that I use commonly that fit inside of here, pens, rulers, markers, styluses, screwdrivers, even my thumb drives and my little reader for all my micro SD cards, you know, when it comes with all the Chinese printers, you know, the screwdriver with the most common bit that I always use, my filament grabber, just whatever you want, my Sharpie. It all sits inside of this. This is wonderful. One of the easiest ways to stop losing all your tools is to have a dedicated place to put the tool when you're done with it. And you make it a habit to always put it back in its slot. Use it, put it back in its slot. Use it, put it back in its slot. Get in the habit of doing that and you will stop losing your tools. So that is the honeycomb. I don't think I scaled this. I think this is one to one. And it printed out beautifully on the, the Zyro Transparent Blue. I think it was I think it was Zyro Transparent Blue. I'll confirm that. And a link will be down below for the filament. But I love this filament. It's beautiful. It's not the twinkling. It's just blue. But it really is a pretty filament. And the tornado did a very good job on it. Next up is actually something I designed. It is on Thingiverse now. So if you would like to download it, the link will be down below. And I'm trying to go back to the next one. There it is. Okay. I got sick and tired of these damn glue bottles. And these damn... Yeah, you see what I mean? <laughs> That's the last time I'm going to do that. Stay. And these bottles, they, they're very... When they're full, they tend to stay put. But as soon as you start using them, they tend to get very top-heavy. So I said, screw this. I sat down before work in Tinkercad, and in less than 20 minutes, I bashed out this. I printed it in Atomic Filament's Iridescent Filament, and it is a first try. It has some Braille there. <laughs> I've never skateboarded in my life, but I love watching his videos. I have no idea why. They're just funny. So, your Instaset fits in there, and I designed this to fit the Gorilla Glue you can get these at Home Depot or Amazon. I'll have a link down below. They're actually cheaper on Amazon. Um, and I made it wide enough that I'm hoping the Bob Smiths will fit in there as well. I have not tested that yet, but it fits that like a glove. No problem. And now I have a holder that is not so easy to knock over to put my glue in. And now I also have a place to put them so I don't lose them. So glue it glue together, accelerate it to dry it. All done. Very cool. I love that. That is, it works great. It's about time I start making stuff that's actually usable to me to help me organize better. You know, very simple, flat bottom, hex fill, a little bit of a bevel on the edge here, and just took my calipers, measured this, added a millimeter, and that was it. That works very, very well. That is freely available on Thingiverse. Next up by user. Johan, Johan 517. This is a fully printable G clamp. These things are actually pretty cool. It comes with two sizes. You have the shorty and you have the slightly longer clamp. And these are fully 3D printed. So you print it in three pieces. You print the clamp body, you print the actual threaded screw and handle, and then you print the little ball joint cap end, and that actually tilts. It's a little ball joint there. Um, and that's it. You pop it on there. If you have trouble getting it to fit, just get it almost all the way tight. Get it in place. 
tighten it down a little bit and then just take the clamp and go and it'll pop right in if it gives you any problem so there's the clamp it actually can apply quite a bit of force it's able to apply enough force to my finger where it's actually beginning to hurt a little bit and discolor the finger i mean it's not making me cry out but it is a little bit painful it's uncomfortable let's put it that way and i could probably go a little tighter but you might break the plastic and i also like the fact that he used a nice wide threads these are 3d print friendly threads so they are friendly to being printed with plastic that's ingenious normal threads you know the threads can strip because it's plastic so these are nice deep um instead of being thin threads like this they're nice deep angled threads so they're very print friendly all prints with no support no issues here's the small one really go away battery warning didn't realize I was low so I decided to supersize it this is a big one that I printed on the TiVo Michelangelo as big as it would allow me to print pretty darn cool and last but not least from user uh, one more this is from user Megatronic Mr. Megatronic the thwack hammer I actually printed this on the FL Sun QQ Cricket. I will have a video coming soon on that. It is a very, very cool Delta. The first Delta I actually like <laughs> because it works. <laughs> I haven't had nice Deltas. I've only had the cheap Deltas, the uh, A4. Uh. <laughs> but um, this is also my first ABS print. Um, it turns out ABS does not like doing unsupported bridging. So I reprinted it again with support underneath the body here and it came out fantastic i have nothing to complain about i figured it would be nice to have a little that was probably pretty loud for headphone users sorry <laughs> i just realized the microphone's right there and that was probably obnoxiously loud so i'm sorry <laughs> so flat camera um it's a little too light so what i think i'm gonna do is i'm gonna print this again and when it gets to about the 75% mark where the bevels start coming in. I'm just going to drop birdshot in here. Just fill it with lead. And this way I'll have like a little deadbill hammer. But there'll be a little bit of mass behind it. Because this would be nice for when you want to use a tool. To bump a prints off your bed. Uh, with the print surfaces that I use. You don't have to pry and tear the prints off. But you do have to shock them a bit. So a lot of times I'll put a tool underneath the edge. And I'll just take something like this. This is too light. But what I use is my... Stanley Fat Max chisel, and I just use this as the dead blow mass just to just give it that little shock to pop prints off. Well, I hate using my tools like that, so if I fill this with lead shot, I think that'll be heavy enough to be my black hammer to bump stuff off of there. I'm thinking about printing a little TPU piece to go on the end here, so it'll have a little shock and won't be so noisy. But there you go. I will have links down below to all four of these. I love useful prints, especially ones that are truly useful that can be handy around the shop and around the house. Stay tuned.